is up kids? Dorky Dad here with another dining review. Partner in crime with me. We are at Maria Nenzo's for the Buongiorno brunch. I've killed that, I know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go check in. Probably sit down because we're 30 minutes, 20 minutes early. Then we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat so much. So Maria Nenzo's just set up like a classic airline theme. Um, and right off the bat when you walk in, you're greeted with the we greet it with the waiting area here, where my wife is. Uh, they do have a, well, a mock ticket counter. I'm gonna see if they'll let me walk around. Um, we're gonna walk in there and I'm gonna get video once we're actually called. But they do have, I guess this is like a quick service. Yeah, this is their uh, pizza area. Hi. And uh, yeah, some outdoor seating. And not a whole lot else, that was a quick tour. So right off the bat on this review, uh, before we even sit down, my wife and I are at an impasse. She's excited because there are bottomless mimosas. But I am upset because this is one of the only dining experiences in Disney Springs that has no pokey stop that you can touch while you're eating. So, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do while she sits there and finishes off bottomless mimosas. This is usually how I entertain myself. So we were quite literally the first ones in the door, um, and as a result, we knew what we, we like looked at the menu, got they took our orders, and they took our menus. So I can't get video of the menus. Uh, basically, what it is, they have both an a la carte style where you can order whatever you want, or they have a prefixed breakfast menu. Uh, it's thirty-five dollars. You get unlimited of the buffet, which we are right next to because they know that I'm fat. And I'm going to go up there and show all that in a second. Um, and for 15 additional dollars, you can get bottomless mimosas. And I know somebody who definitely did that. Uh, but we are going to go up there and show basically what, it, what the point I was making for the most thing is that uh, the prefix, you get to pick one entree. They have French toast, uh, New York strip. Um, I don't remember the others, but there was a spaghetti carbonara on there that I know for a fact my wife got. Um, and the buffet is included, and it includes the chocolate fountain as a dessert. So we're gonna go hit the buffet. I'm gonna record. She's gonna actually eat cheeses and stuff. So let's do that. Yes, absolutely. So uh, yeah, pizza for breakfast. I don't know. No, uh, yeah, I guess I'm getting that. No, that's cold sauce for the shrimp. Yes. Uh, looks like peel and eat shrimp. Maybe it's peeled. I don't know. I'm gonna find out in a minute. My wife walked away without giving me shrimp though. I see that. Alright, I want all of this. Uh, no, everything except the far left. That, yes. That was so good. Next. And then back there. So, yeah, 
that was a quick walk up of the buffet. Um, I'm going to enjoy all of the meats and all of the cheeses and figure out what's going on with breakfast pizza. Alright, uh, for those in the in the viewership that are uh, not as refined as myself, or not, not refined like myself, I'm not saying I'm more refined than anybody, I'm very unrefined and I apologize if I gave that impression. Um, the breakfast pizza is essentially just a cold, cheeseless pizza crust. One of them has marinara sauce on it, the other one is just the crust. It's not bad, I'm not saying that in a negative light, but just if, in case you're like me and we're like, that's weird, that's what it is. Uh, the cheese blocks, like it's literally just carved off giant blocks of Parmesan and another one. but it's very, very good. My wife doesn't like prosciutto. I'm a fan. Nobody wants to watch me chew. But that is really, really good. All of it, all of it so far that I got from the, the buffet is good. I'm gonna go back and get shrimp. I'm gonna see if they're peel and eat or if they're just eat, because they do have the tail on, but I couldn't tell. And by the time my wife walked ahead, she didn't think that I wanted any, because I was recording and she was getting my plate. Long story, you don't care. Point is, I'm gonna try that out in a minute. Um, how is your pasta caprese? Let me get you in the frame. How is it? Are you enjoying your bottomless mimosa? The first one, yes. You've almost reached the bottom. I think that's false advertising. Also, we were not aware, it does come with uh, pastries, muffins, and um, croissants. Yeah, that's what those are called. I'm gonna have one. So, these shrimp are peel and eat. So if you're like my wife and don't like working for your seafood, you're probably not going to want to get this. Hard pass. One thing of note, the mimosas, it's $15 in addition to the $35 price of the uh, brunch. But it's $15 for a bottomless mimosa. However, the champagne that they use is really good. I don't know what it is specifically, but as somebody who's had mimosas, it's a good champagne and they're really strong. So even if you don't get more than two, you're getting your $15 worth, easily. So, just something to keep in mind. It's not like they're charging $15 and then grabbing you bottom shelf stuff. Um, it's good, it's worth 15 bucks. It's, it's like one at Disney would probably be worth that. Uh, but if you have a couple, you're getting more than your money's worth. So, I don't feel like I wasted money by getting having one or two of these. And, Bottom line, if you're adding it onto your brunch, it's good value. They also have another uh, Bellini uh, drink. Uh, it's peach? I don't know. Neither of us wanted it, so we don't know what it is. We can't give you a valid review. We're waiting on our food now. It's the last thing. Uh, well, not last thing. But we're waiting on our actual entrees, and then we're gonna review those. So, this is the New York Strip and eggs. And my wife got the spaghetti carbonara. to dig in and then I'll let you know how they taste afterward because it's loud and I'm not gonna watch, make you watch me chew. So Maria and Enzo's is a uh, 1940s-ish themed uh, restaurant and it's based on the age of industry um, and my absolute favorite musical hit from the 1940s was James Blunt's Beautiful. I'm probably gonna get copyright strike just by showing this but this is really cool. I know that I was being hateful, and I was an attempt at humor, but there's actually somebody on uh, the, the harp. There's somebody on the harp playing Beautiful by James Blunt, and that is incredible. The atmosphere, the atmosphere is at the very least amazing here, and I'll give them credit for that. But the food so far has been good. Um, I asked for my steak blue rare, because that's how I always eat my steak, because if you're not eating it that way, you're wrong. Um, my wife's back there yelling, ew. Uh, but yeah, and they said that that's not actually in their system. It's not like a button because they have a button system like every restaurant on Disney property. Uh, but he still, he went to the chef, he told them that, the chef made it, and it made it properly. Uh, one disappointment I have is the eggs are not cracked eggs. It's like the buffet style liquid eggs. Um, that was one thing about Bon Voyage breakfast that I really enjoyed was it was cracked eggs. But the harp's getting loud again. I'm gonna eat. We'll be back with a uh, dessert review once we hit the chocolate fountain, which is over there somewhere. So my wife, in true 
scrawny person fashion, couldn't finish her carbonara. I'm a quitter. One thing that I have to say is really good about this, it's very much a brunch, I don't want to say menu, uh, recipe, brunch recipe style carbonara. Instead of peas, they use egg, and it's a fried egg with a runny yolk, so the runny yolk actually mixes in. It's really amazing. Like, it doesn't, it, me vocally describing it probably doesn't sound that great, but the way it blends together with the cream sauce and the bruschetta is almost cooked more like to a bacon standard. It's incredibly good. Again, it's it's pasta, so I'm not gonna like show me slurping noodles and all that, but just take my word for it. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this because she didn't finish it, and that's one more step between me and the chocolate fountain back there. But I've got to do this because I gotta get my money's worth, and it's really good. It's finally time for the chocolate fountain. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah, I'm gonna put the, like I'm gonna have you do it, and then I'm gonna. Is that cookie? Yeah. stuff over here too. Oh, my stomach's never gonna forgive me. Alright, dip something so I can set this down. Let's be blade. The proper way to chocolate fountain. So from the unflattering angle where I found a place to set the camera, final review and verdict on Maria Ninzos. Um, if you go on Google, right now there is a review from the dorkiest dad that says this is quite possibly one of the best meals that I've ever had on Disney property. It's true. It's true. Uh, we had amazing service. The food was delicious. They cooked a blue rare steak absolutely perfectly. And for a place that doesn't even have Blue Rare in the options on the thing, that means that their chef back there knows what he's doing. Okay, so wait. He complains a lot. If you've watched any of our other vlogs, you will know he, like, beats around the bush but complains a lot about a lot of places. This was amazing. Like, if I could give it more than five stars, I would. It was great. Um, the breakfast carbonara was delicious. It was, I've never had anything like that before. I've never, I was like, egg and pasta, that's kind of weird. But it was so good. And that's great. not just her bottomless mimosa That was talking. really good. I thoroughly enjoyed everything and I had to eat half of her carbonara. Yeah, I was The, cool. the only thing, and th this is a me thing, the, the blondies that they have on the dessert table have uh, all kinds of nuts in them. I thought it was good. I'm I like fan. nuts in brownies and pastries and whatever. I think it's, I thought it was good, but I mean, I was really full so I could only eat half of one, but it was delicious. Yeah, everything was good from start to finish. The the opening antipasta buffet, the entree, the the dessert bar, the fountain, it was all great. I wish we could have recorded more. It was super loud, but it was super loud because they have a live harp player. It was awesome. I didn't know that outside of a church you could get a job playing <laughs> the harp anywhere, but they do. They have live music provided via harp, and she's playing like covers of modern pop songs. So. All in all, five stars all the way around. Amazing Maria Enzo's Bongiorno Brunch. That's our review. Thanks for watching. As always, stay dorky. Stay dorky.